League of Legends Champions Korea LCK have recently released a statement about increased security protocols for the remaining summer playoffs and the upcoming regional finals after T1's superstar mid laner Lee Faker Sang Hyok became the target of death threats. The hashtag LCK plans to strengthen LOL Park security during the remainder of playoffs finals following recent violent incidents and threats of violence. The announcement on Twitter, posted on Friday, August 12th, read. Upgraded security measures include detailed back searches, additional security personnel, and more security equipment, alongside a strengthened emergency response. We ask for your cooperation as we create a safer environment for all. The LCK statement concluded. The decision was made after a user on the Korean online forum, DC Insight, threatened to harm Faker. The death threats have set everyone on the edge. Especially with the recent mass stabbing attacks reported all over South Korea, including 14 wounded in a car and stabbing rampage underscore underscore in Sonam City, and a teacher stabbed while leaving a classroom in Taejeon. The death threat came after KT Roaster's shocking loss against T1, with Faker back in the team. According to a report by Korean news outlet Yonhap News, the Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency was informed on August 11 about a forum post that had been shared on the online community DC inside at approximately 10 p.m. on August 10. The police report states that the post, which has since been removed, contained the following message, I will go to the dormitory of the team, T1 to which Faker belongs and harm him with a weapon. Police cars were immediately deployed to T1's offices and dormitories to ensure Faker's safety. The police intend to arrest the person after confirming the author's identity by tracing the internet address IP. T1 also issued a statement on Friday, August 11th morning. According to a report by South Korean news outlet Naver, T1's representative said, We are also actively taking care of it and responding with a very high priority. They also mentioned that a police car was currently waiting in front of T1's practice room. T1 also emphasized that they would take strong action against the death threats written by the community for Faker. This is not the first time that Faker or any South Korean esports player or team has been threatened or harassed by anonymous fans. In 2022, Faker and T1 also sued a group of individuals for unspeakably foul drawings. And in the same year, KT Roaster received a box of weapons in the LOL team's practice rooms. Right before the online threat, Faker recently led T1 to a historic playoff victory over KT Roaster in the LCK Summer Split, ensuring the team a spot in the split's top three. It also has to be noted that KT Roaster, which was the regular season's top team with a 17-1 record, picked T1 as their first opponent in the playoffs. Given T1's rocky season following Faker's absence, T1 barely made it to the LCK Summer Playoffs, dropping to 5th place in the regular season after a 6-game losing streak without Faker. With everyone in the LCK Analyst and Caster team predicting T1's loss against KT Roaster, Faker, who is just barely a few days back from an arm injury that forced him to take a break, led the team to victory with a 3-2 score. However, T1 have recently lost against General G Esports on Saturday, August 12th in a lengthy encounter that ended in General G's favor, 3-2. As a result, T1 dropped to the lower bracket final and may potentially have a rematch against KT Roaster or go against Honwa Life Esports, depending on who wins the lower bracket semi-final.